often have situations that come up in our families where we go, that's impossible. We want to see a way through, but we just can't seem to figure it out. We looked at a very creative solution to an impossible problem this week. Miriam and her mother were wondering how are they going to protect Moses. Miriam, his sister, was able to make the most of a situation and it all worked out really well. She thought creatively. She used her creativity to think of a new solution to a problem they were facing. You see, we can look at things in different ways and come up with solutions. But if it's only you just looking at this problem, the problem becomes too big. It's like we have that close-up view. We need to step back sometimes and look at the bigger picture, to think big. You see, we serve a big God and we so often limit God because we think we know what the answer will be. We say God's no for him, or we say that's impossible, that could never change. Things are not impossible with our God. You might be struggling with something as a family right now that you feel is impossible. Maybe it's a relational issue. Maybe it's a financial issue. Whatever it is, I want to challenge you this week to step back, use your creativity and think big. Think opportunity. You might need somebody else to help you. Actually, this is where we as families can get around and be creative in problem solving. Our children don't do this naturally. As parents, we can create opportunities for them to step back, think big, and think possibilities. Why don't you sit around the family meal table and work out what are the biggest problems that you face right now as a family? Maybe have one suggestion each. Then, issue by issue, see if you can think of solutions. Now, some of them can be absolutely crazy. Have fun, laugh about it but you just might find you stumble across a very good solution and it may come from your children. What this is doing is helping your children realize that they serve a big God and that when they think things are impossible, God says, things are possible with me. Your problem may be as simple as getting the dishes done over the weekend. We have friends in the US that decided that they would have paper plates on the weekend so no one would have to do the dishes. That's a creative way of dealing with a problem. Now that might not be your solution to your problem, but see what you can come up with. The real win here is you're helping your children think creatively. You're allowing them to use their creativity to help you as a family think of a solution to a problem. This is a lifetime skill that you can impart into your children and you can have fun and using your creativity along the way. So get creative. Those impossible problems may very well have a solution and you might have the solution sitting around your dinner table. Give it a go and see what happens.